Hello everybody, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au here in today's episode of Flip to Teach Professional Learning. I'm going to show you how to add or remove students and teachers from your class notebook. So first of all you need to log into Office 365 and click on the class notebook tile and that will open up the OneNote class notebook page. So we're looking at adding or removing students and teachers. So first of all, we'll look at the student side of things. We click on the add or remove students tile. It will then ask us which notebook we want to actually be modifying and removing students from. You may have multiple notebooks here and we can now see that I can either add students very simply by typing in their names and clicking on next or I can remove them simply by finding their name in the list and clicking remove. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that person and you can see their name now has a strike through them and if I want to I can undo that. And that's really simple. That is how you remove your students from your one notebook. This could be great if a student leaves the school and moves to another school uh, or if you have a new student you uh, arrive at the school and come into your class you obviously need to add them to your class notebook. That's a really simple way of doing it. Let's go next. Did we get this right? Please confirm the new student names. One in total, yes. You need to go through this process to remove a student as well. Just to clarify that, we click on update. It's now modifying that notebook and you can see that there's a link there now as well. So that's how we add or remove students. To add or remove a teacher, we're gonna go through pretty much the same process, but we are going to click on the add or remove teachers tile instead. So you can see it's going to ask me which notebooks I want to modify. I select mine. If you are a co-owner of a notebook, so you've got a notebook that you're working on with other teachers or someone has shared a notebook with you, they'll be listed down here. You can see at the moment that I don't have any listed there. So I click on the relevant notebook and you can see it shows the existing teachers list. Currently there's only my name there. If you need to add another teacher, you go through the same process. You add their name, um, click next, it gives you a preview and then you can select done and it will modify and it will send the link out to the new teacher. And that is how you add or remove students or teachers to the, uh, to the class notebook. To look at the settings for the notebook and to modify other settings, you need to click on the manage notebooks tile. And again, it will ask you which one you want to modify and there are a few different options here. It will ask you which sections you want to have in your students. It will ask if you want to have the collaboration space locked or unlocked. So that's a space that is free access for students to work within. You can lock or unlock that. There is a teacher only section group. So this could be great if you are job sharing and you need a communication diary to let each other know what's happening in the class. Um, you can add sections if you need to, or you can edit sections by clicking on the pencil. So I can change the name of that. The link for the notebook is also there and any co-owned notebooks will appear down the bottom. So let's go ahead and make a change to this. I'm just gonna go ahead and call this class notes uh, change and I now click save or click cancel to accept that change. Really, really simple and straightforward. That's all the time we have for in this video. So that's how we add or remove students or teachers or how we manage and we can modify the notebook itself. For more helpful videos like this one and to see the rest of the videos in this series, please head to c21teaching.com.au and click on the FTPL videos link at the top. Thanks very much for watching.